Saludos a todos, yo soy Jessica Reyes. Y yo soy Jean Paul López y le damos la bienvenida al Daily Flash Latino. Bueno, más que todo Daily Flash Spanglish, porque we're giving you lo último, pero como lo dices cuando estás con la bestie, tu tía, o sea, you know what I mean, so vamos a comenzar. We're going to start off con el conejo malo. Bad Bunny has conquered it all. Bueno, al llegar a ese nivel, now it's time to give some love to those who inspired him. En una entrevista con la revista Rolling Stone, donde, by the way, el conejo malo seems to be a favorite of la revista, He talks about not having privacy and possible collaborations. Now, lo que tiene a otros reggaetoneros hablando es como le rinde homenaje. All this by wearing el bling bling de pioneros del movimiento urbano who came before him, such as Tego Calderón, Héctor El Father, Daddy Yankee, y Wisin y Yandel. Benito says these are the peeps who inspired him while growing up, and it was his foundation. Wisin y Yandel, by the way, even posted a pic on their Facebook page with the caption, La admiración es mutua. And we, I mean, I love how Bad Bunny is able to um, still remember those who came before him because sometimes artists get like too diva. They don't yeah. want to recognize that they were inspired, de esos otros artistas. But Bad Bunny's like, no, ellos me inspiraron y yo los respeto por eso. So that's what's up. I, Bad honestly, you're on my good side. You're I, I got to say, I, I give props to that. Obviamente, like you said, there's a lot of people that don't give credit where it's due. Right. Yeah, I feel like he always recognizes them and his come up is due to you know, them being there in the first place. Right, So, right. so super me encanta. Yo tengo que decir también que I think he's handled it to where, I think personally, yo creo que he's handled el fame que lo ha traído tan rápido. Mm -hmm. I think he's handled it to the best of his ability. Right. Porque yo veo mucha gente que lo critican en todos lados about, But oh, I mean, haters hate gonna hate. Haters hate gonna hate, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That I is mean, true, is. siempre. You know, that's just how it I, is. I feel like I compare him un poquito cuando yo vi a Justin Bieber grow up, like, uh, right, come like up, fame yeah. coming tan rápido. Right, right. Yeah. I feel him. like he handled. I feel like he handled a little bit even better than Justin Bieber did. So of course, yeah. well, maybe he had someone to to see. You do it first. Eso okay, lo que no hago. Has, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bueno, mira, mi gente, Gloria Estefan is game for her fellow superstars to cover some of her hit songs. The singer revealed who her top choices would be to remake some of her biggest hits. The 65-year-old Estefan said that Dolly Parton would be awesome, as well as Kelly Clarkson, because she adores her and she has an amazing voice. Estefan also added that Clarkson is funny, great, and she has the whole package. The front woman of the Miami Sound Machine, who became the first Latina woman to be inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, says that seeing other stars record her music feels like a natural next step since she's been incredibly blessed with some pretty cool honors, and her song remakes would be a huge honor. I don't say those are some of no nombre que I like their voices. I mean, Kelly Clarkson, el yeah. que es Kelly Clarkson, super querida, and I can see why someone like Gloria Stefan would mention. Uh, Kelly, porque ella es una muchacha que es humilde, yeah. trabajadora, she's a mom, like her. So yo entiendo de que, de que ella escoja ese tipo de persona. I'd love to see some remakes of like Oye Mi Canto, um, sí. Mi Tierra. I mean, espero que sí, si sí, van a hacer este, la canción Mi Tierra, que suena latina, por lo menos que la cante. Pero sería súper chévere escuchar este, estas diferentes canciones hechas otra vez, porque, let me tell you, yo creo que a Gloria Estefan no se le da suficiente crédito. De she, she's the one who paved the way for a lot of Latinas, like, like a J-Lo and things like that, and things like that, to... Um, to be in the, into the mainstream radio and TV, so. Yeah. Gloria, another one, Gloria. Girl, and I, I haven't seen I her recognize in, you, I, I respect you. <laughs> and I haven't seen her in any drama either, so yo creo que como un role model, I think no, that was perfect. No, no, I mean, lo único que yo, eh, que le ha pasado a Gloria Estefan, que fue muy triste, muy lamentable, was when she was in a terrible um, accident during a tour. Yeah. And, um, and then after that, salió la canción coming out of the light, o algo así, and she just, She's got the beautiful comeback story. She married her first boyfriend. Inclusive, yo tuve la oportunidad de ir a lo que es el, um, they had like a, like a show, um, a Broadway type show. Uh -huh. And I had an opportunity to see their love story. Let me tell you, like they are just hashtag couples goals. Look okay? Gloria y Emilia Estefan. <laughs> They really, really are. That, well, yeah, sure, too. But I, I mean, Kelly Clarkson, you know, as well, like her voice, amazing. She had a wonderful career. And I've never seen her in any, nunca, yo creo, at least from what I know, mm -hmm. trouble así como que. Nothing. Well, then you haven't seen her divorce scandal then. Oh, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> see, I don't think <laughs> That's what it is then. Because well, she was I, in a scandal. Cause of, and not because of something she did, but because of how her ex wanted, you know, just full support of like, quería quitarle el dinero en otras palabras, el tipo de hombre que tiene hijos contigo, él quería todo el dinero para él. Okay, so, she has one strike. So, no, he has a strike. Okay, he has a strike. Pero anyway, mis amores, este show está lleno de mucha energía, de mucho entretenimiento. Tenemos fotógrafos, tenemos música, todo lo que tú necesitas en este sábado aquí en Daily Flash Latino. Así que no se vayan. Tómense no, su cafecito, pero no se vayan.